All right, get nice and tall, seated comfortably. Face the front maybe. And I might change directions, it's okay. You can face whatever way you need to, okay? Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean to your left. Inhale, pull that shoulder back. Exhale, sink forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean to your right. Inhale, pull the shoulder back. Good. Exhale, sink lower. That's really good. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist left. Look behind yourself if you can. And as you inhale, get taller. As you exhale, twist a little deeper, further behind you. Inhale, reach up through center. Exhale, twist right. Look behind yourself if you can. Inhale, get taller. Exhale, twist deeper. Inhale, reach up through center. Exhale, fold forward, drop your head. Take a big breath in here. And on your exhale, find your way to a tabletop position. So your shoulders are gonna be right on top of your wrists and your knees, will, your knees are right under your hips, okay? From here, drop your belly, look up. Take a big breath in here, this is cow. On your exhale, bring your back upward, tuck your chin and your pelvis towards each other. Inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, cat. A few more of these, go in your own time. If you wanna go slower, if you wanna add some rocking, you can, or any other kind of organic, natural movements to you. Okay. On your next inhale, we're gonna reach that right leg behind you, flex the toes towards the ground. On your exhale, left arm's gonna reach in front. Inhale like a tug of war, hand to foot, pull, pull, pull. And on your exhale, bring your knee and elbow together, curve your back. Inhale, reach again. And on your exhale, just drop the hand, not the leg, bend the knee. And then take it out to the side and start doing circles with this leg, yeah. When you've gone a couple times one way, switch your direction. Good. On your inhale, straighten it back again. Exhale, drop it down and stretch your calf. You can just kind of rock. Sometimes I like to lift my bottom leg up to help me stretch. That's something you can try if you like it. If you don't like it, don't do it. Inhale, reach arm and hand, I mean arm and foot. Exhale, back to tabletop. Take a cat cow. And then inhale, left foot reaches back. Flex the toes down. Exhale, right hand forward. Inhale, pull them apart like a tug of war. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, drop the hand, not the leg. Bend the knee. And then start taking circles out to the side of you here. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, drop it down. Stretch your calf. Tabletop, and then we're going to tuck our toes under behind us and then try to sit back on your heels and then sit up. Get your shoulders on top of your hips if you can here, okay? This is called fire toes. If you hate it, come out. It's okay. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Like a double high five, lean back. Inhale here. Exhale, come back to tabletop and you can pedal your feet out if you like. We're going to go to our first plank. If you want to do it on your knees, you can. If you want to do it in a high plank, you can. It's up to you. Kind of figure out how you're feeling today. We're going to move through our first vinyasa. Mine is going to be easy this time, okay? So if you want to do the easy way, easier way for most people, I'd go this way. Inhale, reach up. 
Inhale, press the ground away. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down. Good, press into the ground at the tops of your feet. And then inhale, lift your heart up. You don't have to go too high, stay here for your exhale. This is a cobra. One more inhale here. And on your exhale, come back to that tabletop, tuck your toes, and then send your hips up and back for down dog. Once you get up there, you can kind of walk your feet around and figure out where it feels right to you, what space and distance is good for you. But really try to get an inverted V if you can. Flat back, flat back of the legs. Your heels may not touch, that's okay, but kind of push them down. Spread the fingers wide. Good, big breath in through your nose. Sigh it out your mouth. As you inhale again, get your heels up on your tippy toes. Get up, up, up. And as you exhale, get your knees just barely off the mat. Like you don't want them to touch, but they look like they're gonna. You can drop them when you're ready or try to hold it for one more breath in. And on your exhale, find a child's pose. In child's pose, your knees can be wide or they can be together, whatever feels good for you. And then your arms can kind of reach where you like them too. Yeah, if you want them behind you, that's okay. If you want to reach them in front, if you want to roll your forehead on the mat, this is kind of a nice place to do that. Take a long inhale through your nose. Sigh it out. One more inhale. And on your exhale, make your way back up to a down dog. Take your time. How you get there doesn't matter. Once you get there, feel free to move a little bit, pull your feet. Maybe nod your head yes, as far as it can go. And then no, right and left, as far as you can go. Good, drop your head, let it dangle. As you inhale, get on your tippy toes. And as you exhale, bend your knees really big, look forward. And from here, you can kind of bounce if you want. And then tiptoe your way forward. Get your feet under your hips. Good, this is a forward fold. Hang out for a moment. You can kind of drop your head if you want or look at the ground. Okay, as you inhale again, flatten your back, tabletop. Stay for your exhale. As you inhale, really try to flatten and lengthen here. Exhale, fold it down. Roll it up. Take your time. Breathe in as you go. When you get to the top, let's reach up. And on your exhale, bring your hands to prayer or to the sides. Close your eyes if you want here. Just kind of do a quick body scan. See how your body feels. Catch your breath. And then set an intention for your practice, like a goal maybe. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees enough so you can get your hands on the ground and then step back to a plank. Once you're here, feel free to drop your knees if you want. Totally up to you. I'm going to do that other version of a vinyasa, okay? Totally optional how you want to do it. Always these are skippable too, okay? Inhale, press away. Exhale, lower halfway down. Keep the elbows close. Inhale, straighten your arms. And just let your hips kind of float off the mat. See how mine are hovering? Yeah. And here you can tuck your toes under or not. It doesn't matter. You can kind of see what you like. Do you like it better that way or not? See what you think. This is enough dog. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, make your way to down dog. How you get there doesn't matter. Stop along the way. Do what you like. Long inhale through your nose. Sigh it out your mouth. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, hover your knees, beast pose. You can drop them if you like, or you can take another inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Nice 
work, everybody. Give yourself a kind, compassionate thought, something nice you could say to yourself. I can think of something if you don't have an idea. You are a person that's between the age of 10 and 13 that showed up for a yoga class. That's pretty awesome. Pretty special, good job. Take a long inhale through your nose. And on your exhale, make your way back up to a down dog. Take your time. How you get there doesn't matter. Oh, I like that. That was a good one. You can be creative. How do you get from position to position? Hey, bend your knees. Look forward. Take a big bounce. And then you can tiptoe forward. Here's another thing you could try. You could try to do a little hop. Nice. Good work, everybody. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hold. Good. Inhale, roll it all the way up. When you get to the top, let's look up and reach up. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Good. So the whole next section that we're going to do is going to be a sun salutation A. Okay? So all this stuff is a sun A. Okay? Here we go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, plant your hands on your shoulders, and then find your plank. You can vinyasa or skip it here, however you want to do it. Replace it with something else if you don't want a vinyasa. Meet me in a down dog. Beautiful. Long inhale through your nose. Sight out your mouth. Bend your knees, look forward, bounce if you want. And then get your feet under your hips at the front of your mat the way you like to go. Nice, good job everybody. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll all the way up. Reach up, look up. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer. Close your eyes, settle in. That was a sun A. Nice work. We're going to do a sun B next, but I'm going to change it up a little bit, okay? So there's going to be some extra stuff in it, okay? Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chair. Okay, so hands can be here, here, behind you, wherever you want them, okay? But flatten your back and make sure your knees are pointing in the same direction as your toes. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back to plank, vinyasa, or skip and meet me in a down dog. Nice work, everybody. Okay, on your next inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Three-legged dog. Exhale, rock it forward, knee towards your nose. Step between your hands. Good. Now, here, make sure that this front knee is right on top of that front ankle, okay? You don't want to over it. It's right on top, okay? And then your back foot's popped, but maybe be on tracks, not a tightrope, okay? And then take an inhale and come up to high crescent lunge. On your exhale, left hip is going to sink down and forward. Face this way, okay? Inhale, reach higher. Exhale, twist your right. Totally optional. Nice, everybody. Good. Take a big breath in. And on your exhale, drop the hand down. This is a dragon like this. You can drop the knee here if you like. Inhale, reach up. And on your exhale, bring the hand back down. Bring the foot. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. Send the right foot to meet the left behind you. Plank and vinyasa. Meet a down dog. You're all working so hard, doing really great. Nice work. On your inhale, your left leg's gonna go up and back, three like a dog. On your exhale, rock it forward, knee towards nose. Step between your hands. Okay, get that left knee right on top of the ankle 
and then ball of your back foot out to the side a little bit so you're on a track. Okay, take an inhale to come up. On your exhale, sink the right hip down and forward. Good, inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist left. Beautiful work, everybody. Big breath in here. Exhale, right hand down to the ground, left hand up to the sky. You can drop your back knee if you want. Good, big breath in. Beautiful. Exhale, bring the hand back down. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Left foot meets right. Plank vinyasa. Beautiful. Long inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Bend your knees, look forward, bounce. And then travel up the way you like to go. Hop, tiptoe, whatever you like to do. Step. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. On your exhale, keep that flat back, just bend your knees. And then come up to chair. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Nice job. Take a moment, close your eyes, settle in, breathe. Do you remember what your goal, your intention was for today? Think about it. Give yourself a kind, compassionate thought. The focus in here is really good. I'm so proud of each of you yogis. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. If I can hear you breathe, I'm going to be more happy. Exhale, fold. I love to hear the breathing. Step back to plank. Good. One breath in here. On your exhale, lower all the way down. Elbows close. Tuck your toes. I mean, get on top of your feet here. Tops of the toes. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, left ear, lay it down. Straighten your left arm out to the side of you like this. Bend your right knee and then roll up your left hip. Put that foot down. And then you can lay your head back down if you want. You can just keep this hand in front of you to help you stay balanced or if you want, you can take it behind your back. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, roll onto your belly, but keep that knee bent out to the side of you. And then go like this with your arms, roll post them. Lay your left ear down on the ground. This is called hug the earth. Like you're giving the earth a big, huge hug. Now your left hip might be off the floor quite a bit. See if you can sink it low, or your right hip, sorry, lower towards the ground. Same with your right shoulder. Try to flatten yourself down here. All right, straighten the leg, bring the hands back under the shoulder, take an inhale, lift your heart. On your exhale, right ear comes down to the mat. Straighten your right arm out to the right of you. Bend the left knee. Roll onto your right hip and step that foot behind you. Yeah, nice. And then that left arm can do whatever you like. It can stay in front of you or come behind you. Everyone looks great. Nice work, yogis. Long inhale. On your exhale, come back to your belly, but keep that knee bent out to the side of you. Goal post your arms and then right ear to the mat. Hug the earth. Try to get your left shoulder, left hip closer to the ground. Flatten yourself out here. Tell the earth, thank you for being so good to you. Straighten your legs, bring your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, find your way back to a child's pose. Take a breath. Take a break.
Long inhale through your nose. Sigh it out your mouth. One more long inhale here. And on your exhale, come back to a tabletop for me. We're gonna do that thread the needle move. I'm pretty sure we did it last week. I'm just trying to look at the time real quick. Okay. So on your inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. Look up at that hand. And on your exhale, take circles with this arm. Go a couple times each way. And then inhale, reach back up to the sky. And on your exhale, take this hand under this armpit and then lay your right ear down to the ground. Good. This left arm can come behind your back if you want, if that feels good, or you can just leave it down the ground, whatever. And then the left leg, if you want, can also come out to the side of you, kind of kickstand it like this. That's totally optional too, though. Stay here for a moment and breathe. If you have some tension somewhere, see if you can let it go a little bit. Maybe with your next exhale. These are all good options. Everyone's kind of choosing a little bit different. I like it. One more inhale here. And on your exhale, bring that knee back in. If it's out, bring the left hand back under the left shoulder. Inhale, right arm back up to the sky. Exhale, take it behind your back. Inhale, pull the shoulder back, look up a bunker. Exhale, come back to tabletop, square off, and take a cat cow. Okay, flatten your back. We're going to take it on the other side. Inhale, left arm reaches up, look up. On your exhale, circle the arm a couple times, both ways. Full range of motion here. Inhale, reach high, high, high. Exhale, go under that other armpit, lay your left ear on the ground. Then this right hand can come by with the back if you want, right leg can fix stand if you want. Totally optional. There's somewhere in your body you're kind of tense, maybe you can relax a little bit. One more inhale here. And on your exhale, bring the right knee back under you, right hand back under the right shoulder. Inhale, left arm reaches up to the sky. Exhale, take the left hand behind your back. Inhale, pull the left shoulder, look up. Exhale, back to tabletop, square off, take a cat cow. Good, tuck your toes, send your hips back, fire your toes again. All right, right hand flex in front of you, left hand grab those fingers and pull it back. Good, now left hand flex in front of you, right hand grab those fingers, pull it back. Good, and pedal your feet out. You don't like child's pose, you can always do something different. One more inhale here. On your exhale, make your way up to a down dog. Take your time. Beautiful, everybody. Nice work. On your next inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, hug your knees just off the mat. If you want to stay here for another inhale, go for it. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees, look forward, bounce if you want. And then travel forward the way you like to go. Nice work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Reach up at the top. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Good. Stand your weight into the right foot, float the left. And then find a drishti, something that's not moving in front of you. In dance, we call it spot, you know, spot. Yoga, drish, drishti, drishti. And then bring that other, that left foot to tree now. So anywhere, it can go anywhere but your knee, okay? Once you're nice and stable and strong, you can move your branches around or close your eyes or lift a heel if you want. You can find 
stillness. On your next inhale, reach your arms up and bring the knee in front of you. One leg at a time. And on your exhale, swing the leg behind you and try to make one long line from hands to feet. The standing leg can bend if you want. This is a warrior three. Big breath in. On your exhale, drop the foot down, four fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Reach up. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Get your weight in the left foot, cover the right. Look at your drishti, find something that's not moving in front of you. And then find your tree pose. Do what you like with your branches. Really good yogis. On your inhale, reach up, knee comes in front, one leg down. On your exhale, see if you can stay on one leg, come to warrior three, leg comes behind, long line. Hands can be up back here or like this or out to the side, whatever helps you balance best, okay? Big breath in. On your exhale, step the foot down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Reach up. Exhale, hands come to prayer. On your next inhale, right knee up. Arms reach up, one leg up. On your exhale, step the foot all the way behind you. Now check that it's parallel to the back of your mat. So the toes are gonna face that way. Then the toes here face that way. And we're open facing the mirror this way. Arms reach. You might have your shoulders over here or here, but keep them right on top. Big breath in. Exhale, sink it in. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. This arm can reach here or behind your back. And this knee's gotta stay bent. Inhale, straighten the leg, reverse triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess squat. Nice, everybody. Pull those knees back. Toaster, like in the toaster slot here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, toes point forward and then pull forward. And you can make yourself as wide as you like. Your legs can make them wider or closer if you want. Yeah, nice choices. You can twist and swing, um, whatever you like here. Yeah, really good choices. Great, yeah. Okay, on your next inhale, flatten your back. And on your exhale, fold back down. Inhale, roll it up, find your star again. Bring the toes in, turn out. Exhale, goddess squat. Inhale, star. Exhale, left knee bends, warrior two. Now you might need to fix that foot again. Wait that way up. One breath in here. On your exhale, take both hands to the inside of that foot, like your cartwheeling, yeah. And then you'll have to go up on the ball of the back foot here. Heel toe the left foot out, that way. Drop the back knee. Send the hips back. Good, you might want to get tall here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, you can prop yourself on the leg or a block or something. Or And I have the leg kind of out to a diagonal, like at 10 o'clock, but you can have it right in front of you. But this is called half splits. Wherever you are, try to flatten your back, take a big breath in. And on your exhale, bend the knee, come back. And this time, frame the foot with your hands. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. We're gonna bend it and rock. And then back foot has to meet the front. Four full. Nice. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, fold. Roll all the way up. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the fur. Close your eyes. See if you 
feel any difference because we just see one side of all that. See how that feels? Does one leg feel more stretchy than the other? Tired? Who knows? Feel it. On your next inhale, reach up, bring the left knee with you. On your exhale, step up behind, warrior two. Okay, so that front knee is bent over the ankle. These toes are parallel to the back of the mat, pointing that way. Shoulders on top of the hips. Good. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse. Good. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Reverse triangle, beautiful. Exhale, warrior two. Good. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess squat. Good. Inhale, back up to star. Exhale, wide-legged forward, fold. Feet gotta go parallel again. There we go, toes forward. Do what you like here. I'll give you a few breaths. Yogi's choice. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Roll it all the way up. Take an inhale as you go, and then turn your toes out again, star. Exhale, goddess squat. Good. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Okay, right knee's bent. And then parallel back foot, back to the mat here. Big breath in. And on your exhale, both hands come to the inside of the right foot. Get on the ball of the back, and then heel toe that foot out a little bit. Drop the back knee, set the hips back. Half splits. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, flat back, fold. Off yourself wherever you like, wherever's comfortable to you. Wherever you are, flatten your back as you take an inhale. And on your exhale, bend the knee, frame the foot with your hands. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Bend it and then rock. Use that to launch yourself forward. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll it all the way up. Reach up. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Last section standing. The rest is going to be on the floor. Here we go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Find your plank. Last vinyasa class. You can make it awesome and slow and strong. You can skip it. You can replace it. Whatever you want. Okay, bring your toes together here at Down Dog. Take an inhale to get the right foot up and back. Three like a dog. Exhale, rock it forward, knee to nose. Drop the knee down, and then you're gonna sit down here. Deer pose, okay, so you might wanna adjust how your legs are bent, see what feels good to you. And you might wanna adjust how close they are to each other too. So you're gonna see what feels right. Okay, facing that front leg, take an inhale and get really tall. And on your exhale, you can fold forward if you want. Some people like to twist to the right and fold too. That's another nice spot to try it. So figure out where you like it. Yeah, really good choices here. And hang out for a little bit, okay? Yeah, I like that option. And she's grabbing her back foot. Yeah. Great choices. All right, take an inhale to get tall again. And on your exhale, lean back just enough to feel a little bit of a stretch here. If you feel any pain in your knee, go back away from this stretch, don't do it. Some people go all the way back. Yeah, some of you guys like that, I can see. <laughs> My knee doesn't like that. Exhale, this back leg is going to swing all the way around. I'm going to face this way. 
um, and get the left leg on top of the right. So you want the left ankle on top of the right knee, and then the left knee, if you can, get it all the way down to the left ankle, or right ankle, sorry, left knee, right ankle. This is called fire leg. You wanna flex both of your feet. Now this might float, that's okay, totally normal. But if you can get it down, that's great. You can also kind of put both hands here. And you also might find that you might be bending your back, you might be hunching, try to stay tall here. Good. Just breathe. One more inhale, get really tall. And on your exhale, cross the knees over the top of each other. Bring the ankles close to like your hips here. Yeah, this is shoelace. And again, you might have a knee floating up here. That's totally normal. Just go where it feels normal to you, okay? It feels right. Um, what I like to do is use my thumbs and kind of massage the soles of my feet for a moment, and then I'll fold forward. Some people like to twist here. But I'm gonna kind of let you choose what you wanna do, okay? But we're gonna stay here for about 30 seconds or so, a few breath cycles, okay? I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, these are good choices. One side might be really tighter than the other two you'll find here. Good. Okay, from here, we're gonna move into a boat pose. Now, just for fun, if you wanna try this, see if you can get into boat without touching the ground. Like, unwind your legs, find it. Yeah. And then from here, you can kind of flush your hands if you want. You can also straighten one or both legs, but really try to keep your back flat. Breathe. Don't hold your breath here. One more inhale. And on your exhale, cross your legs, sit down, and then come back up to tabletop. And then back to here. And then move your way to down dog. We're going to do all that stuff on the other side, okay? Bring the toes together on your inhale, left leg floats. Exhale, rock it forward, knee towards nose, and then drop the knee down and sit down for this uh, deer pose or Z sit. Adjust your legs and the bend of your knees the way you like it. Get all situated here, face that front knee, and then take an inhale to get tall. On your exhale, fold forward or twist or stay up, wherever you like it. Chill out for a little bit. Really appreciate the, the focus today. I'm really impressed with you all. You're very mature for your age, all of you. Inhale, get tall. And on your exhale, this is where we lean back. Just enough to where you feel that stretch on the quad, but no pain in the knee, okay? Really great choices, good, nice. long inhale get tall on your exhale cross the knees bring the feet close to you, you can massage your feet here get tall take an inhale on your exhale if you want to fold go ahead or stay tall or twist do your thing here good choices everybody get tall. On your exhale, find a butterfly stretch. 
Um, last week I talked about trying it with the, you know, enough space to put both fists, maybe. Try that, see how that feels. Um, and again, you can also adjust how close your feet are to your body. First we'll inhale, get nice and tall. And then exhale, if you wanna fold and sag, forward, go ahead. Inhale, get back up to a seat. Exhale, lean back, take the feet wide. And then just windshield wipe your knees for a minute. on the ground close enough to your hips that if you were to reach your hands you could like raise your ankles with your middle fingers you can kind of feel reach it keep your knees up to the sky and then on an inhale we're gonna lift our hips off the ground as high as you feel comfortable going this is a bridge stay up for your exhale as you inhale again see if you can lift a smidge higher and as you exhale, drop the hips back down. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lift the hips up. Stay up for your exhale. While you're here, if you want to try to grab your hands and interlace the fingers, straighten your arms and kind of like tuck your shoulders close to each other. That's one option. You can also try to like lift your heels off the mat, one or two. Inhale, lift your hips higher. Exhale, release the hands, release the hips back down. Take the feet wide, windshield wiper here on your back. Good. Okay, stand back into your feet, cross the right foot over the left like you're sitting in a chair, flex it. And then we're gonna, this is called thread the needle on the back or recline pigeon or recline figure four. But you can let this bottom foot off the mat and then interlace your fingers behind this left hamstring. And then pull this all, this whole unit towards you. You can push that right knee away from you with the right elbow if you want. And also the left leg can go straight if that feels good to you. If you like it, go ahead. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, cross the right leg over the left knee like a lady sitting in a chair, okay? Yes. And then if you want, you can drop both of these over to the left of you. Or if this feels like too much you, bring the knees together without crossing it. And then drop to the left. You might want to look right. T your arms or gold post them, whatever feels right to you here. One more inhale here. On your exhale, unwind the legs, bring the knees back to your chest, hug them in. And then stand the feet back down. Left knee is going to cross, left foot over right knee this time. And then you'll thread the needle here. You can straighten the right leg if you like. Just take a couple of breaths here. everybody good one more inhale on your exhale if you want to cross the legs you can or unwind and keep the knees together whatever feels good to you and then we'll take them over to the right maybe look to your left here now if your knees are touching the ground your shoulder may not be it's probably highly unlikely it's not some teachers will tell you to try to focus on getting the shoulder down and letting the knees float, you know, or you can kind of just play around here and feel where you, where the stretch feels the best to work on, the twist. One more inhale. On your exhale, unwind, come back to a ball on your back. 
And then if you want to do a shoulder steer, they'll walk you through that. I think we did it last week. Um, just remember, if, you're, if you don't know how to do it and you need to see me do it, don't try it while you're watching me, okay? Because you won't want to turn your neck while you're in this position. You want to look up at the ceiling. So I'm going to lift my hips off the floor and put my hands right here on my sacrum and then straighten my legs up to the sky. Once I'm here, I'll kind of walk my elbows closer and closer to each other. Your leg, you don't have to be totally straight. Obviously, you're not going to be, but just as straight as feels comfortable. Look at your feet here. Your shoulders stand here. Breathe. Inversions are really good for your, your body, your health. Get the blood going the other way than it's used to. If you want to go to plow pose, this is totally optional, but what you do is keep your hips up high and drop the feet over your head. Totally optional, no pressure, guys. Make your way back to shoulder stand if you did plow. One more inhale here. On your exhale, come back to a ball on your back. Good. Hug it in, get really, really tight. Take a long inhale. When you get to the, when you can't take in more air, pause. Just take a moment. And then let it all out. You're gonna release into a shavasana pose. This is the traditional one. You're just on your back, hands out to the side, feet flopped open, palms up. Close your eyes, relax. If you don't like this pose, you can kind of go to your side or a child's pose. But this is the time of class where I turn out the lights, we get really quiet, we meditate, we breathe. Okay, so here we go. This is called Shavasana. Relax. I'll guide you out in a couple of minutes, but in the meantime, see how still you can be. attention to your breath. See if you can pay attention to an entire inhale and an entire exhale without allowing your attention to drift off to something else. Good. Now Shavasana means corpse. Just a, de a dead body. I know that sounds graphic and gruesome. But this is more of a symbolic thing. It's the death of the old you. It's gonna be a better you as you move forward. So think about maybe what you might wanna let go of here. This, what are you gonna let die? Maybe, maybe you're gonna be a little less impatient. Maybe you're gonna be a little kinder to somebody. Maybe you're gonna let go of that grudge. So think about how you wanna be as you move forward with your life. You've got it in mind, maybe you roll to your favorite side, like a fetal position, a birth, a child, a new you. Take a long inhale here. Sigh it out. You can stay here, or if you like, go ahead and quietly make your way back to a comfortable seat. You want to keep your eyes closed go ahead i'm going to do some teach you guys um some pranayama 
It's the word that we use in yoga to talk about breath exercises. And I talked about last week about how the breath was so important and how it helps you in these various ways. So we're gonna learn a pranayama technique, okay? Let me turn the music down really quick, hold on. You might wanna be sitting in a nice tall seat for this one. This breath work, this pranayama is called Nadi Shodhana. Nadi Shodhana. And what you do is take your right thumb and put it over the crease of your nostril. Okay, so you can plug it when you want to. It's there ready to go. And then the ring finger of your right hand is gonna be ready to plug the other nostril, but don't plug yet. Those other two fingers you have, you can just let them fold in or push them on your forehead. So take a normal inhale through your nose all the way up. Let it out through your nose. And then plug your right nostril. Inhale through your left. When you don't want to inhale anymore, plug the left and let the air out the right. Stay here and inhale through your right. When you get to the top, plug the right and then breathe out your left. Stay here, breathe in through your left. Plug it and then breathe out your right. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale through the right. Plug it, breathe out your left. Inhale through your right. Plug the left, breathe out your right. Release your hands.